Let's have a look at using an EQ plugin to smooth out dialog audio. And by smoothing out, I mean oftentimes when you record dialog audio with some sort of condenser microphone, whether that be a shotgun, a lavalier, a cardioid, there can often be a little bit of a harshness and it, it just happens with some voices and some microphones. It's not uncommon, but there are some things you can do with EQ to kind of smooth that out and manage that a little bit. Now, let's play a little sample here for you that we're gonna use and we'll let you hear the results as we work through this. So here I'm just gonna be working in Adobe Audition. This can work, just to be clear, in any audio editing app, any digital audio workstation. So all of them have EQ plugins. <laughs> There's nothing magical or special about the one that comes with Adobe Audition and you can use third-party EQ plugins. So don't get too tied up on the specifics here, but let me kind of show you the principle. Here's the audio we're gonna work on. We have this mounted on a K-Tech carbon fiber 12 and a half foot boom pole with it's internally wired. And at the base of the boom pole, it has a perpendicular XLR output. So, okay. So let's take a look at what we've got here. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and add an EQ plugin. So I'm gonna do that here in my effects rack. You can do it a variety of ways. You can go up here to effects, choose filter and EQ and choose the parametric equalizer and just work on it in real time, or you can apply it to a rack. And if you decide it's not working out, you can always get rid of it. So if you're not showing the rack here, just come up to window and choose effects rack. We'll go ahead and add it here. Again, it's under filter and EQ, and we're gonna use parametric equalizer, and we'll set it to its default. Okay, so the idea that we wanna use here with an EQ, you can, we want to find problematic frequencies. Again, represented on the graph here, on the left-hand side are the low frequencies or the low notes or the, the low sounds, anything in the bass range. On the right-hand side, treble or high-pitched sounds. And one thing I usually do to make this a little easier for myself is I actually change the range to 30 dB. That makes it a little easier to see what we're doing here. And then what I do is I come to number two here. Um, first thing I do is actually boost this by 9 dB. So let's just increase that by 9 dB. And you can see we now have a boost here. And what that means is all these frequencies in the low range here now are being boosted by nine decibels. So that's actually a little too wide for us. We wanna do what's called a notch filter. So that's gonna be very narrow. So I'm gonna change the Q, which is essentially just think of it in terms of width. I wanna change that setting to 20. Now you can see it's a very skinny kind of boost that we're doing there. It's called a notch. And then what I can do is I'm playing through the audio, I can sweep this back and forth. And then when I start to hear something sound especially harsh, I know I found a frequency that may be problematic. So let's go ahead and do a sweep through here and let me show you how it works. Keep your ears open. Let's see what we find. We are testing out the Rode NTG4 Plus in a Rycoat Windshield 4 kit. This is a Windjammer. I believe it's called Windjammer or maybe Maybe it's not, maybe the Windjammer is the fur cover that goes on it, we're gonna test that as well. But this one includes the Zeppelin cover, and in this case, I guess they're just calling it the Rycote Windshield 4. Okay, can you hear that? How it sounds a little bit strange, it sounds a little whistly, and almost like we're in a cave. So I think we found a frequency there that's giving us a little trouble. So what I'm gonna do is just change the gain on that particular parameter to minus four dB. Now let's come to our, to our next one here. We'll boost this by 9 dB. Reduce the width or the Q to 20. Let's go ahead and play through some more and see if we can find other frequencies that are giving us trouble. We are testing out the Rode NTG4 Plus in a Rycote Windshield 4 kit. This is a Windjammer. I believe it's called Windjammer or maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe the Windjammer is the fur cover that goes on it. We're gonna test that as well. But this one includes the Zeppelin cover. And in this case, I guess they're just calling it the Rycote Windshield 4 kit. So there it is. We have this mounted on a K-Tech carbon fiber 12 and a half foot boom pole with it's internally wired. And at the base of the boom pole, it has a perpendicular XLR output. So pretty nice pole. And that one runs, I'm not sure how much it runs. I think about $600. So let's use this as our test audio. We are testing out the Rode NTG4 Plus in a Rycote Windshield 4 kit. This is a Windjammer. 
I believe it's called Windjammer, or maybe it's a little bit of it going on there too. Don't know if you heard that. We'll do a minus four dB there, move to our next one here, boost it by nine dB. Narrow it down to a Q of 20. And do the same thing again. Maybe it's not, maybe the Windjammer is the fur cover that goes on it, we're gonna test that as well. But this one includes the Zeppelin cover, and in this case, I guess they're just calling it the Rycote Windshield 4 kit. So there it is. We have this mounted on a K-Tech carbon fiber 12 and a half foot boom pole with it's internally wired. And at the base of the boom pole, it has a perpendicular XLR output. So pretty nice pole. And that one runs, I'm not sure how much it runs. I think about $600. So let's use this as our test audio. We are testing out the Rode NTG4 Plus in a Rycote Windshield 4 kit. This is a Windjammer. I believe it's called Windjammer, or maybe maybe it's not. Maybe the Windjammer is the fur cover that goes on it. We're gonna test that as well. Okay, right around a little over one kilohertz. Some other funky stuff going there. Minus four. It's okay to put them close together as well. So let's go ahead and do a before and after here. Again, this is really subtle stuff, and it's it's not going to make your audio sound completely different, but it will just take a little tiny bit of edge off so it doesn't have that harshness. So let's do a quick, I'll turn it off, play through for a little bit, and then we'll turn it back on. We are testing out the Rode NTG4 Plus in a Rycote Windshield 4 kit. This is a Windjammer. I believe it's called Windjammer, or maybe... Okay, now let's turn it back on. Maybe it's not, maybe the Windjammer is the fur cover that goes on it, we're gonna test that as well. But this one includes the Zeppelin cover. Okay, there you go. So that's the technique. Um, you may or may not hear a difference. It can be really subtle. This is not the worst, uh, the most harsh <laughs> audio recording I've ever worked with. So this one didn't need a whole ton of it from the start, but if you do find that you have some that sounds just, a, everything about it is right, except it just sounds a little bit harsh, this is a technique you can use. Now you often hear about people that have golden ears that can hear anything. <laughs> My opinion is, yeah, there, there is definitely some physical element to how well you can hear, but there's also just training your ear. And here's an interesting app that I found called Train Your Ears EQ Edition. And what this allows you to do is bring in an audio file of any sort. In this case, I've got the same dialogue track we were using just a minute ago. You can play through it and sort of quiz yourself. It will apply different EQ cuts and boosts without telling you what it is. And then you get to guess, you know, do a quiz and figure out which it is. And it's a good way to kind of train yourself and train your ears specifically. So let me give you a quick example. So if we start playing this here. We are testing out the Rode NTG4 Plus in a Rycote Windshield 4 kit. This is a Windjammer. I believe it's called Windjammer or maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe the Windjammer is the fur cover that goes on it. We're gonna test that as well. Hmm. But this one includes the Zeppelin cover and in this case, I guess they're just calling it the Rycote Windshield 4 kit. So there it is. I was wrong. <laughs> it actually did a cut at 500 hertz. I had guessed a boost at 1K, 1,000 hertz. In any case, it's an interesting little thing. And you can also kind of, even if you, know, if you get the question wrong here, if we keep this playing, you can actually review it. So watch this. We are testing out the Rode NTG4 Plus in a Rycote Windshield 4 kit. This is a Windjammer. I believe it's called Windjammer, or maybe maybe it's not. Maybe the Windjammer is the fur cover that goes on it. We're gonna test that as well. But this one includes the Zeppelin cover. And in this case, it So it's pretty interesting. You can actually, you know, when if you get a question right or wrong, you can actually listen to it again to kind of hear the difference with the EQ, without the EQ. Really kind of a clever little app. So if you're interested in that, if that's your sort of thing, I do have a link for that down below. I found it kind of helpful and I like to use it every once in a while to kind of just quiz myself and kind of fix my ears or <laughs> train my ears, not fix my ears, but uh, an interesting little app that's worth checking out. Mm -hmm.